Ancient Roman glass acquires interesting properties after being buried in the ground for centuries. Over time, the molecules in the glass made in ancient Rome rearranged themselves and recombined with the minerals. In this way, so-called photonic crystals were created, ordered systems of atoms that filter and reflect light in a specific way. In ancient Rome, glass vessels were commonly used to store wine, water and cosmetics. When they broke, they were covered with a layer of dust and soil while lying in the ground, and were affected by changing temperatures, moisture and mineral substances. Nowadays, these tiny pieces of glass are found on construction sites and archaeological sites. On their surface you can see a whole mosaic of iridescent colors, blue, green and orange. Smaller pieces are used as pendants, larger ones go to museums. Materials science engineers Fiorenzo Omanetto and Giulia Guidetti from Tufts University in the USA became interested in them. They observed that the glass particles rearranged and reconnected with the minerals. Creating the so-called photonic crystals, ordered systems of atoms that filter and reflect light in a very specific way. Photonic crystals have many applications in technology, including for very fast communication in computers and via the internet. They can be designed to block certain wavelengths of light and allow others to pass through, which is why they are used, for example, in lasers. The project began accidentally during a visit to the Italian Center for Cultural Technological Heritage. Our attention was caught by a beautiful, shiny piece of glass on the shelf, describes Omanetto. It was a fragment of Roman glass from ancient Aquileia. Scientists quickly realized that they were dealing with naturally formed nanocrystals with special light transmittance properties. The glass dated to the period from the 1st century BC to the 1st century AD and came from Egypt, which indicates the existence of international trade. Its surface had a patina only a millimeter thick, with an almost perfect gold mirror image. Microscopic analysis showed that the so-called Bragg mirrors, which have the ability to selectively reflect light of different wavelengths, and are used, for example, in lasers. Scientists explain that the process of corrosion and reconstruction has been operating for centuries, as a result of which nanometer-thick layers of minerals were deposited on the glass, and the silica in the glass corroded. The result is an extremely ordered arrangement of hundreds of layers of...